2-1. I said, we, I, I thought we'd find a way to win today. I just, everyone's saying, oh, Salah this and Liverpool this. I just thought Mourinho will find a way. Man United will find a way and we did. You're right. I, I predicted three results. Uh, I predicted 1-0 to us. I predicted 0-0 <laughs> and I predicted 3-0 to You can't do that. You, don't, you can only predict one. Well, I just thought it could go a few different ways and I, I just didn't see a 2-0 lead to us at any point. You know, yeah. the style of football we've had recently it hasn't been... Uh, up to what we expect but today was just phenomenal I think the fans carried today as well you know the, the crowd really lifted the team every player to a man first half especially was superb um, I don't know if a lot of people have mentioned it but Ashley Young today won his battles and I think today was about individual battles I thought Ashley Young beat Salah almost all game but then down the other side I, I found that the Liverpool we were concentrating on the left side of Liverpool well Liverpool's left, uh, right side our left side Rashford won his battles uh, he scored two goals as a result of that and I, I think you know a lot of the balls went down to him early on and he kept winning that, those battles and it would have been a different game if Mata hadn't shinned that opportunity that overhead kick you know it was so so close Mourinho showed real emotion uh, when that when that didn't happen. And <laughs> he's a calm character normally, and he and he, he showed emotion during that. And you know, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look what it means to the fans. Mourinho during the week could have been a little media trick. He was like, "Don't see the rivalry, just a normal game." Look what it means to the fans. Do you think that he's just saying that just to just to quieten it down? He knows what it means, what this fixture means. This is Liverpool. This is a huge game for us. He knows what it means to the fans, yeah. and, and it's important to the fans. But he's Portuguese. He's managed Chelsea. Yeah, he's not a United fan. He, he works for United, so to him, it, it may just be another game. You know, it's his job to, to get results. But he knows from the atmosphere today, it's far more important than that. You know, this is worth more than any result all season. We want to beat the Scousers more than any other team. For me, more more than City. I, I love beating City. I fucking hate City. I hate. I, I fucking hate Leeds. <laughs> but. I really fucking hate the Scousers. In the first half, and after you say, we were winning first balls, second balls, and we were passing forward. We were trying things. And even if it wasn't coming off, there was ruptures of applause from all the crowd just to say, just to appreciate we're trying to play attacking football. Yeah, I mean, Sanchez today, today for me was his first good game. I know he's man of the match his first game against Yeovil, but it was Yeovil. Uh, he gave the ball away, but today he worked his socks off. You know, some of the things he did didn't quite work out and he came really close at making stuff happen other times. So, you know, Sanchez proved his worth and before the match I was saying I didn't want Sanchez to start I'd rather a Martial or Rashford yeah, yeah. turned out we, we can have Rashford and, and Sanchez and it worked out brilliantly I think you know for the first half I think it almost looked like 4-4-2 the old Fergie style yeah, yeah. with sometimes Lukaku dropping his number 10 sometimes Sanchez dropping when we didn't 10. have the ball Sanchez was dropping back almost like a 4-5 yeah. one there. worked his socks off you know uh, Scott McTominay uh, I know how well did he play today I mean he was he was taken off at half time at Crystal Palace and for a young player that he could have got his head down there. He was brilliant against Chelsea the week before, but he could have he could have gone into a shell there. But he's picked again for Liverpool. He realises what it means to the fan. He's been here since he was a young kid. He took it into his heart and played his socks off, didn't he? Above anything, mental strength. Mm. You, you know, you're dead right. You know, the, the strength to come back from being brought off at half time against Palace when you're playing an absolute stinker mm. after doing really well against you know Chelsea. Yeah, you, you, Price, key, like, yeah. key player in the Chelsea match. That's a big game as well. And he's come back today in another key match and he's absolutely superb. He won the balls. He, he was a, a brilliant, brilliant midfielder today, and he showed why. You know. We didn't miss Pogba today, mm. apart from maybe late on actually when we need to hold the ball, yeah. when we were holding down. <laughs> but, but the point is, he, 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 he yeah. filled that it void. Works. He filled the void that was left by Pogba, who for me is one of our best players, despite the criticism he gets. We just got to find a way and to get him playing well. And he, he, has to, he has to answer a lot of mental questions of getting himself playing well, because you know he's been up and down, hasn't he? Have, have a chat with Scott, because he, yeah. he, he seems to know how to get over that, that, that side of it. And, you know... Today is just phenomenal. I've got a long trip home and yeah. I'm excited. It was worth it. Oh, it's absolutely Was you up at half five this morning to make your trip up here? I was up at half four to be picked up at half five. Uh, I and did. Do you know what? I don't regret a single second of it because today's like today. It, you know, we're not, not going to win the title, but today's the sort of day when you reason why you're a football fan. You know? And is it a springboard into the Severe game, into the Brighton game, to finish the season strong? OK, we might not be expected to win the Champions League, but we're going to give it a go. The FA Cup, the confidence is about the place at the minute. A loss could have hurt, you know, because Palace we weren't good, but a lot, and a loss could have hurt today, especially to our rivals. But, you know, Severe, it's, it's a tough game, and we, we've got to go there with some confidence now. You know, we're bringing them back to our place. All we've got to do is beat Severe. Yeah. You know, we've got to beat a team in Europe at home 
Can we do that? Of course we fucking can. You know, we do it all the time and we've done it throughout our history. So yeah, of course we go on and win that. And you know, if we get a draw against someone like Roma, yeah, you know, and we we can get to semi final. Would yeah. you would you bet against Jose Mourinho team yeah. over two legs? Final. Jose's the man, yeah, yeah, and, and then also over one leg in the final. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you, you, United fans don't do it uh, the yeah, easy way. You know, we we go to Ukraine, which is a long fucking way away. Yeah. yeah, we will turn up in our numbers where a lot of other fans might not, and we could, we could do with that. Yeah, we we could do with the European Cup final, and that that would absolutely show progression uh, from last season. Round it off, James. Man of the match. It was it's difficult. There's loads of candidates today, but who's your man of the match? I mean, oh my God. I'm uh, going to press you. You've got to choose one. I'm going to press Rashford, you. It's got to be, it's got to be I mean, Ra Rashford scored two. <laughs> Don't let them get in your head. It's your L choice. Lukaku was fantastic, <laughs> as he has been for weeks yeah, and weeks, yeah. despite his criticism. Baye uh, back in the side today, strong. I mean, McTominay, strong. Baye makes, like Rashford. Baye makes a huge difference. Yeah. I'm going to say that the reason why Liverpool didn't have a big effect on us is because Mo Salah couldn't play his football. Ashley Young, man of the match. Okay, it's an interesting one there. Not it's a, a lot fair of point. Go for that, but that's yeah. I, I just something you don't watch, you don't notice on telly is yeah. the, the little things. But mm. Ashley Young today he was right up. He wouldn't even let him receive the ball. He was right up. Him. And sometimes he, he would lose it, but his foot would just come in out of nowhere and just yeah. nick it out. And I'm I'm gonna say Ashley Young, okay. probably controversial choice, but he's my choice. Listen, thank you very much, man. Nice, See you Tuesday. See you nice yeah. one. Take care. Hey,